My brain is different. And no, I'm not, I'm not a genius, nor am I a prodigy of any kind. I have Tourette syndrome. This causes me to have involuntary movements and vocalizations called tics. You may hear me yell butter at the top of my lungs. You may see me blink my eyes uncontrollably or snap my fingers repetitively. When I'm out in public, I receive quite a few funny stares from strangers. Most resemble confusion or discomfort. And I get it. What I do and how I behave is very foreign to most people. It's not every day you hear someone yell a household ingredient at the top of their lungs in public. It, okay. <laughs> I've come to the realization, however, that I've escaped this mode of thinking. Yes, I can change the way I behave. I can change the way I speak. And at high school, I stay quiet for hours on end just to pay attention. But I shouldn't have to change who I am. And Tourette syndrome is part of me. It hasn't taken me long to realize that there's immense power in difference, especially when it comes to the brain. These differences are known as neurodiversities. And those who possess them are known as neurodiver neurodiverse. You see, on my sophomore year of high school, my first, first day of sophomore year, I received the infamous, you need to get a job speech from my mom. And I came to the realization that I would have to interview. My mind would scramble, it would race, because I had no idea how to approach it with my situation. What do I tell the employer? Do I even mention it? How would that change how they think of me? So, being a teenager, I consulted the internet. <laughs> I delved into Reddit forums, Facebook communities, and I even shamefully looked at WikiHow. <laughs> but I found nothing that aided neurodivergent individuals in the interview process. I eventually found out that 80% of neurodivergent individuals are unemployed. This is one of the highest cohorts in the United States. With roughly 20% of the US individuals being neurodivergent and falling under this umbrella, this looked like a crisis. So at 16 years old, I began to work with a company who focused on this very issue. I, I soon began to speak with executives at companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Samsung, and university faculty from Harvard and UPenn and the word neurodivergent turned way too many heads. Most of the people with whom I was speaking had never even heard the term before, let alone known what it meant. You see, this raises a very large duty for neurodivergent individuals. When it comes to interviews, those pertaining to us specifically, there exists what's called a communications gap. That is, the discrepancy between questions being asked by the interviewer and responses from the interviewee. This tends to be the very source of failure in neurodivergent applicants. Closing this gap means we have to take the wheel. We have to make the interview environment one in which we can succeed. And this looks different depending on your situation. You may need the blinds closed in the office. You may need to wear an ear earbud during the interview. You may need to even see the questions beforehand. But neurodiversity is a part of yourself that deserves to be shown. So don't suppress it and don't hide who you really are. If we are to conquer an interview, we must be able to do it as ourselves and our entire selves. And look, you don't have to own your neurodivergence. I'm not asking that. But you have to own your needs. Do this unapologetically. You see, by encouraging neurodivergent individuals to embrace their authentic self, we can revolutionize the job interview process. And we can allow these minds to shine and thrive in the professional world. When it comes to how we do this, 
It's up to you. It's in your hands. Take me, for instance. I go into an interview, the one that landed me my job, and I let the employer know, hey, I yell stuff sometimes. I might need to take a few breaks here and there. And that's OK, because that's what I need. There's one key you must keep in mind, however. Own your needs. You see, closing the communications gap can truly change the way people from neurodivergent backgrounds approach job seeking. Workforces across the world deserve to see the brilliance of neurodivergent minds. And us, well, we just need a chance to show it. <laughs>